Welcome to Build Edge. I'm Aaron Dietzen, and this is Placing Doors in Build Edge Pro. To place a door, I'm going to start by choosing doors from either the UI or the toolbar and set my properties. My first option is door type. I have the options of swing, double door, bypass door, also called a slider, bifold, double bifold, garage, cased opening, and opening only. These will be covered in more depth on another video uh, in the future. So you can look at that to get more details on what each of these looks like. Right now I'm just going to choose a standard swing door. Under style I have a bunch of options. Standard, glass, four panel, six panel, and then a bunch of user defined styles. Again, we'll get, dive a little more deeply into how those work in a later video. I can choose the width and height of the actual door. That's the slab of the door, how wide is it going to be, how tall is it going to be, and then the width of the casing. Once I have that set, I can mouse over any of the walls and get a preview of the door that I'm about to place. At this point, I can hit the left and right arrow keys to toggle through the different place and points. Left to center, left to left, right to right, right to center. Hitting the left to right arrow keys will toggle you through all these points. Hitting the up and down arrow key will toggle the different placement options for the selected door. For this door, I'm going to place it down towards the end. I'm going to toggle so I'm placing left wall to left end of the door. And I'm going to type in a specific dimension that I want to see here. Type that in here, and hit enter. The door is placed, and if I move my mouse to the right, I get another copy of the same door. Now at this point, I'm dimensioning off of the existing door. If I move my mouse up past the top of the door, the dimension line will shoot out to the next wall. This lets me control if I want to pull a dimension off of the previous wall or from the edge of the door to the new door. I can move my mouse off to the right to another wall, and the door will jump into that wall. Now something I can do at this point is hold down the Shift key which will lock my door into this wall, allowing me to do things like use SketchUp snap points to center this door into the center of the wall. As long as shift key is being held down, I can place anywhere in the wall, even if my cursor moves outside of the plane of that wall. If I want to, I can head over to Tools and choose Interact and click on a door to open or close it. This gives me a little more control of how I want the door to look in my architectural model. That concludes placing doors in BuildEdge Pro. Visit us online at www.buildedge.com for more information and additional training videos. Thank you.